a semi-final match between Diving Phoenix and Pizza Planet. I am joined with my homie Uravity, Hello. and we're going to share this game with you. Traveling to Nepal. Uh, I think tonight's going to be a really fun game to watch. Um, as I was speaking about a little bit before uh, before we started the broadcast, both these teams have had some extremely high highs this season, so I'm excited to see which one of these teams comes out swinging the hardest, because when both these teams are at their peak, they look pretty unbeatable. I think one of the, the interesting things is going to be the compositional differences um, that we see. I strongly suspect um, that Pizza Planet is going to lean on that hog a lot tonight. Uh, quite possibly. Psycho Mantis um, has always had a really good road hog ever since I joined the server and started playing for the Corgi Core. Always, like, just a really good Roadhog you have to pay attention for, especially in this Roadhog meta now. Your segment is probably one of the scarier tanks in the Tier 3 scene. Indeed. And we've seen over the course of playoffs that... Five, four, uh, DP a little one, shying away round, from the Hog. Hawk is a good Hog, but they just haven't played it a whole lot. It could and just be a matter of maybe see... the team hasn't adapted to the Roadhog uh, meta that well. So it's Very else possible. Bit better. Right. A nice hook coming in on the side of Pizza Planet from Psycho, pulling in Bambi, but not quite able to secure the kill. Just kind of a poke war, but Freezy does find the pick on the zip tail, but Spooky on this Reaper has just kind of walked behind Diving Phoenix. They're not doing anything about them. Finds two picks right off the bat. Still hasn't really allowed Pizza Planet to really take over the point yet. And Freezy's gonna find the pick on the Spooky off on the side. Oh no! Bambi's gonna take himself and the auto off the map! This is just pick after, like, trade for trade for trade so far between that. It does look like, though, Pizza Planet has the numbers. They're gonna take the point. I really would have liked Hawk to probably just back out there. Um, I don't think that was stallable, but, you know, it's first fight, it's mm -hmm. always winnable. We do see, um, reasonably even ult economy coming out of that first fight. It was long, um, but not that decisive, so there wasn't anybody getting crushed. Riptire coming in from AJ, what's he gonna find? He's looking to get two with it, only finds Fiji, that's big though! Losing your main take this early in a fight! Nice hook from Psycho Mantis, able to kill Honey Biscuits right off the bat. Korean Wannabe also following up with a pick on the grill. Ultimate's coming out from both sides here. Coles is already active. Psycho Mantis is using the whole hog. Finds the pick on the Bambi. Just to clean up on the loan jokingly. And to secure themselves the point a little bit longer. I don't necessarily understand. But your Ana shouldn't usually die to. Junkrat total mayhem. I'm not <laughs> sure what exactly happened there. But that yeah. was a pretty unideal start. Uh, but they were managed to bring it back. So. Lines coming in from John Hawk here, and a big shatter coming in for Bambi, but Spooky Beam's able to counter it with their death loss and finding half of Diving Phoenix. Second way, this hooking John Hawk here just gonna remove the ability to contest any longer. Honestly, might be for the best here on Diving Phoenix. This is going to give them the regroup and a final six-man team fight to see if they can flip this. All I'm really glad to see Hawk swap here. Uh, mm -hmm. The ball really wasn't, wasn't getting it done. This Bob has to be big. Here comes the beat. I would assume that's going to try just to get Diving Phoenix onto the point. They're going to have to touch here. Still nobody touched! That oh, was no. the most premature beat. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> it was that so was a premature, winnable they team didn't fight, even unfortunately. Make it back. AJ oh, was supposed gosh. to be the one who touched, but they got slept just off of the point. Unfortunately, because I, I do believe it looked like AJ was the designated toucher, everybody else was staying back to take a fight. Try and win the fight off the point while AJ went ahead and got them the overtime, but unfortunately that slip that sleep dart from I assume Five, that's Wondery. How to pronounce that? Three, two, uh, really yeah, did a good job. 
It's hot. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just saying, yes, it is. Uh, okay. Not this. Um, did a very so good job shutting it down. We do see the hog mirror now. Uh, after the lessons of last map. And I starting think hook. that's probably for this part. Hog? Yeah, be able to get a pick on the zip tail. Unfortunately, the counter pin from Fiji gonna go ahead and finish off that teammate. Spooky again. Finding picks early on, Dr. Vril, that's a really good one to get. However, Bambi popping off here, finding three. Trying to finish off Psychomantis. Honey Biscuit's gonna go on ahead and deal the final blow there, and Diving Phoenix will get the first capture of this round. This will Bambi really taking the results of that previous round and saying, oh nay nay, we, we will not <laughs> go down without a fight. Absolutely. Um, Finding the early pin and then converting with some early aggression, uh, really paying off. Oh, going for a bit of a premature hook there, trying to guess when they're going to come out. Huge hook coming in from Psycho Mantis, so pulling Bambi all the way up to their team. But John Hawk finding a pick on the Spooky really early on in this fight. That's a lot of damage gone for Pizza Planet. This is going to help a lot, but however, Fiji finds a pin on the AJ. Both Junkrats are out of commission. It just trades back and forth. Diving Phoenix finally getting a leg up in this numbers war. Psycho Mantis trying to turn it around, but unfortunately hooks John Hawk, probably the least killable target for you to hook there. And Bambi getting a charge kill into him is gonna send Pizza Planet back for a reset. I'm gonna say Psycho may have committed the mortal hog sin there of I can tank it and get out and pop his breather, you know, twice over the space of 10 seconds or 15 seconds feeding me. Full 600 ult charge. That team fight was fully neutral. Both these teams have so many ults coming in. Whole Hulk coming in, but it gets negated. A huge hook from John Hawk, however. Oh, well, the Riptar coming through. Might just be enough for Diving Phoenix to stabilize this without using any more ults. They're trying to kill Psycho over here on this edge. Finally get the kill. Uh, Pizza Planet look like they don't know whether or not they want to commit to this fight or not. The Honey Biscuits is going to decide, though, that it's time for them to leave. Unfortunately, now is the positioning. It is! It fights to it! It shuts down the beat! Shatter comes through, but it doesn't connect! Bambi gets stuck in a trap! That's going to be the end of Bambi! John Hawk just trying to push the team off the point with a huge pin coming in through Fizzy! Honey Biscuit's trying to get a Deadeye off here, but the team is just hiding from it. Fiji uses shield knowing that they're the only one there and won't die to it. And that'll be Pizza Planet cleaning up for a take here. Couldn't have done it any later. That, that is a pretty expensive retake uh, from Pizza Planet. But the ult economy's not looking so hot on the other side either. So they have the chance, but they're going to have to play flawlessly. Playing really aggro here. Korean gonna go on ahead and pop that ult advantage. But John Hawk is fearless, still going for the hooks. Fishy with a nice fire strike though, and Spooky gonna go on ahead and pick off AJ just with the jump rat spam through this choke. This is gonna. Okay, yep, I was gonna say either Pizza Plant's gonna be really aggro here or Diving Phoenix has to leave. Looks like it's going to be the former. Girl's gonna try and find their way out of this fight. Can they do it? They're 1 HP. Just barely able to round the corner in time before Korean gets the final shot off onto them. I'd really like to see this high ground rotation come through mm -hmm. from uh, DP, and it looks like it's going to. Um, Barring John fighting Hawk, that main choke be... is just painful, but and especially when uh, Pizza Planet is just giving up the high ground. Like, take it home. Really He's good flank from John Hawk, and I go to pick off Korean. Want to be really soon. Nice shatter coming in from Bambi. It does find people behind uh, Fiji, even though they have their shield up. And Diving Phoenix coming with a really strong pincer attack and immediately reclaim this point off of it. Riptire coming through, but nobody's going to be able to make it to point in time. That'll be round two of Nepal going to Diving Phoenix. I, we we're talking about the high ground, low ground difference there, and I really think that Pizza Planet made the mistake of planning to match them where they come through, yeah. rather than just holding the high ground, and if they go low ground, congratulations, you have the high ground to fight from. You have a hit scan, you have the Junkrat. 
Whereas, if you just stay low ground, kind of what just happened happens. They rotate yeah. high ground, you all get terrified, turn around, run back. The hog steps around the corner, low ground, grabs your Moira, and, well, the fight's over, and good, good night. Yeah, that was a really good, like, rotation strategy from Diving Phoenix. They tried main a couple of times, Pizza Planet were expecting them to try it again. <laughs> Look, missed from Nothing? Psychomantis, leaving an opportunity, forces Pizza Planet to back up a little bit, respect the fact that, uh, Don Hawk still has those, but they're gonna rotate all the way around. They're using the speed boost, they just wanna get on top of Fizzy, and remove him from the fight immediately. They find Ziptail in the process. Diving Phoenix are just gonna get heavily aggro onto this objective and just storm and take the or Pizza Planet off the point. However, Psycho Mantis not leaving without leaving a mark on the battlefield finds the uh, hook on the John Hawk. That's a hefty amount of ult charge there. Honestly, worth. Good, good ult charge, and it's, you know, it's that micro hog versus hog battle, you know. Mm-hmm. You, you, you've left, you just gotta you've let left them know that you can absolutely hook them off the map at any given time. You'll hit your hooks. <laughs> Respect. Especially with Psycho and his pride in his hog play. <laughs> uh. Oh no! Oh, they oh, take the off the map here! Pizza Planet set themselves up for a perfect retake! And it looks like Diving Phoenix aren't even going to try to contest for any percentage. Grill is just going to try and get themselves and Honey Biscuits out. Meanwhile, AJ is trapped here in No Man's Land. Unfortunately, the team does know he's there. And a huge hit oh, from Psycho Mantis! Gonna remove them from the fight immediately! Long hook. <laughs> yes, it was! That's... And, and so late. I think AJ might have been better served by just lobbing himself off the Oh, this is gonna be oh, a huge goodness. dragon! It finds Grill and it weakens up John Hawk just enough! The Riptide from AJ can't attempt the fight! Korean shuts it down! Uh, <laughs> Pizza Planet oh. have an answer to everything that Diving Phoenix is trying to throw at them right now. However, you, you in would... that fight, they, uh, the ult economy does seem to swing a little bit over back to Diving Phoenix because they Pizza Planet initiated a huge shot from John Hawk and a pool of fishing into the team. However, the support coming through, the pick actually goes on the Bambi, the Shatter, no shield to block it. Diving Phoenix are still trying to fight this though. They're down four people. Psychomantis is stuck in a trap. Late. If AJ can get a pick here, that would be huge. Even if AJ goes, they kind of have the spawn advantage just because of how far Pizza Planet's pushed up, but it doesn't look like they're going to find it. Actually, Psychomantis is getting a really late pick on the grill. Going to set Pizza Planet up for a really nice, like, this definitively puts them in one fight territory. <laughs> Very much one fight territory, and the ult economy is kind of in shambles after that really late uh, beat from Dr. Grill. It's gonna be hard to get Shatter. in here, especially with AJ with a tire right behind! It's not gonna find anything due to the beat, though! Pizza Planet do seem to be cleaning this up. Molten Core just being used to go on ahead and say you cannot enter anymore. And that will be Pizza Planet taking map one. Wow! That was quite the performance! That absolutely was. I am actually stunned with that Pizza Planet performance there on Sanctum. I though I don't want I don't want to say that like they just did absolutely amazing and Diving Phoenix didn't do anything like at all. Because like that initial rotation from Diving Phoenix just able to catch Pizza Planet completely off guard like that, swarm them and take the objective away from them to start was also really strong. Both plays coming out from both these teams because we excited for what the rest of the night may have to, to show. The level of map control that Pizza Planet were willing to exhibit on that point, it really makes my comments about how I thought their map control on uh, Village was like a little iffy. You know, I reverse mm -hmm. caster cursed myself. I, I, you know, I made, I called out their mistake and they said, no, no, we'll fix it right now. <laughs> and holy crap, like, the awareness to keep Korean in that position for the the back rotation, because there, is that the nastiest dragon spot outside of, like, the subway tunnel on King's Row? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. it really you is. You cannot escape. <laughs> like there, you know, there's good, there's good spots, but that one is literally like hallway, the width of dragon. You in there, you dead. <laughs> and he and he picks off the rip tire. I thought that was psycho, just uh, indiscriminately <laughs> firing with the with the roadhog ultimate who cleared it. But no, he identified it and and popped it with the Hanzo. Ah, it was just quality. Absolutely. I thought it was just like random. Like I, there were so many abilities and I just spam fire being tossed in there i honestly thought that like that tire was just removed by some random spam fire i saw korean on hanzo is what got rid of it and i would say oh wow korean not playing around tonight on that hanzo so swaps are coming in also next map uh the to bring it back to what's going forward king's row coming up um uh, we do have Holy uh, Chuckster coming in for Hawk. Lee Ratty coming in for AJ. Um, Steph coming in for... Gosh dang it, you, you sped Gr up and got uh, past me. Uh, Grill for... and uh, Pop-Tart <laughs> in Pop for Jokingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was looking back and forth I know these teams like I know these teams need us to go by quickly, so I'm trying to make sure everything gets done as soon as they're asking for it. And on the other side, we're seeing Zany come in um, for Fishy. Glob Dragon come in for Spooky Memes. The legendary Mr. Game and Kirby come in for Yandros. Right. And we're going to King's Row with Pizza Planet. I will assume we'll choose to defend first. Yeah, because uh, of course I have to swap everybody's roles around in the team names. We have Bambi ready. We just need Psycho defense or attack. Come on. I'm willing to assume they're discussing it at the moment. King's Row is actually a pretty fun map to attack on first, as long as you're pretty, pretty darn sure that you can power through yeah, the rest you... of the map. It's uh, not fun to attack on when you think you're going to do pretty well on it, and then you just get full held, or almost. And then you, like, have really... It's just... King's Row, I do think, is the one map you could probably pick attack first on, and, and probably get away for, with it, because I think it... I don't know statistically. Psycho never gave me. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's statistically. I don't have the numbers just on me. Um, I'm sure they're out there somewhere, but I would assume King's Row, I, I get full held the least on it. I also manage to full hold the least on it out of all the hybrid maps. Hmm. I feel like... Really? Compared to Ike? Um. I feel like Ike is the one map where, like... I don't know. I'm not the one to talk to about Ike because I have like a burning hatred for that map. That's true. Yeah, we. we I have done more VOD reviews and discussions with you on Ike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ike and Volskaya, I'm constantly coming to you like, hey, where should we set up here? How should we push this so, point? <laughs> okay, Psycho they're attacking. He's on attack. So, uh, we're going to get a fun game. Just going to make sure all the spectators are uh, in and on the correct team. They are. Both teams gave ready, so we'll send them in. We got that swap done in four minutes. We cooking tonight? Now mm -hmm. King's Row. These teams, you know, it's a weeknight game. Yep. Everybody's got work in the morning, everybody's at school in the morning. So we pride ourselves on running a snappy ship as we try and get through everything. Stream team is on turbo mode tonight. Oh, do we see Reinhardt? Of course we see Reinhardt. It's King's if we don't see Reinhardt on King's Row, I'm going to be sad. Although Zany coming in, does that suggest the run? Does I feel like it has to. to. Well, Would it be a Zarya? Um, I, I don't know enough about uh, Zany Boy's uh, hero pool, actually, to really 
say that, but it looks like Psycho Mantis is going to be on the Reinhardt here. I wouldn't have been surprised to have seen Ryan Roadhog on this map from uh, Pizza Planet. I, I honestly thought we might see the, the Hog Zarya that nobody's running, even though they should be running it. Shout out to any team that runs Hog Zarya. Uh, um, or Hog Diva! Like, you know, you can make it work. Mm. Uh, we had so a defense that was seeing the Fire and Ice defense with the May Torb. Mm -hmm. This is really interesting, actually. Uh, Korean Swap, stop baiting. Thank you. <laughs> I, hey, there's few people I like to watch play Tracer as much in Tier 3 as Korean. It's like Korean and Strike. Those, those are my two favorites. Pizza okay. took an interesting rotation that uh, I guess just take less poke damage. I mean, honestly, really I Diving Phoenix uh, up until that uh, nade came through. Huge wall coming in though. Gonna go on ahead and shut down Psychomantis. That'll effectively shut down this entire push for Pizza Planet. Any boy getting a little greedy there, am... wanting to charge. Yeah. I think the Diva versus Zarya pick here is mostly personal preference. It is. Uh, I think it's different ways of enabling your line. Did you see Korean falling very early? Uh, that pick up on Diva because it's going to hurt. That was a lot of what this team needed to hold. However, uh... Uh, L1 was pressed by both Reinhardts, and it didn't end well for either Reinhardt. That's a real shame. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole Canada mood. Did come out, which kinda turned it, I think. I would have been a little worried with the pressure coming in. Pizza Planet has a sweeping ult advantage if they act quickly. And if they are going to act as quickly as possible. I was just going to add Diving Phoenix are so close to a lot of their ultimates. But uh, Pizza Planet came in and I, I honestly... Is the Baptiste new or did they just use five ultimates in that fight? Uh, the Baptiste is new, I believe. Okay. But I think they also kind of used everything. <laughs> they, they absolutely used everything. This is going to set Diving Phoenix up for a really nice hold here at the Stoke, I think. Shatter coming through. It's going to find Honey Biscuits. If they get this pick on the Honey Biscuits, that'll be huge for them. Fortunately, it Honey does. able to stand back up, get themselves in their cryostasis, and heal up a little bit. Lee Ratty with a nice pick on the Psycho Mantis. Again, oh, good ice wall break from Honey, <laughs> able to allow Lee Ratty to use a little bit of the Molten Core before getting picked off by the Zarya. Yeah? Honestly, that, that, like, whole exchange came out super favorably. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Shatter kind of bought them the space to recontest, even as Psycho was punished for it and didn't get a lot. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side, you know, they broke that choke without using any they other They get Bambi Nana here. I don't... I don't think they're going to be able to get a whole lot done with it. They, they don't. Good wall coming in from Biscuit, though. And a blizzard, too. This is actually a really nice blizzard. Bomb Ooh, that in. Bomb. Find Ziptail. I actually didn't expect them to get it. I, the bomb, I think, was probably a little unnecessary. Um, I don't. See I didn't that. see if it was a remix bomb. If it was, I guess I can get with the program. But otherwise, that fight was very truly well and done. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, a little expensive. Bomb, Nano. Nano coming back up very Both quickly. Both and uh, keep winning their fights, but they keep using a lot of their ults in the process. Riptire coming in here. It's going to find four! Glob Dragon Woo! immediately opening this up. I, I guess Glob Dragon heard me say that they've been winning these fights expensively and said, hang on, let me win with just one. <laughs> Sometimes one is all you need. Mm -hmm. And Chuck got to get staggered enough that there is no hope for a recontest. Well, okay. Oh, Lee Ratty's still here. Bambi? 
Can baby touch or honey biscuits? Nope. They and missed the beat too. Step. They were hard committed to that three contest. They do wall off Zanny though. And the grab gets invested by Pizza Planet. Grab Dragon coming through. Looking so bleak for them for just a moment. It looked like they were going to find a pick, maybe even two on the Pizza Planet, but they completely turned that fight on its head for Diving Phoenix. The, uh... The beats for DP tonight have been a little, little sus. Um, I feel like once the uh, once the Matrix came out there, that fight was not really recontestable. Uh, good immortality field. Is that wall blocking? I couldn't tell. Maybe it's kind of freezes Reinhardt. They're gonna toss the bomb in, but a nice block coming in from Psycho Mantis. Riptire coming from spawn from Lee Ratty. What's it gonna find? It finds Korean and Chuckster able to find Glob Dragon. All the damage is now gone on the side of Pizza Planet. However, Chuckster was the only thing that did. Steph able to make it back just in time, and now Lee Ratty's here to help out. However, the picks are swinging back in. Immortality field being used on the side of Diving Phoenix. It's just buying them time. A Blizzard coming out though. This could turn the entire fight. Bambi's back. Honey's back on the point. But the picks are okay now. The finally, the picks are starting to come through for Diving Phoenix. Ziptail's gonna try and get out. Is Diving Phoenix going to be able to get the stagger pick? That was actually an incredible recontest just at the last moment, getting just enough stall to allow that Blizzard to come out and Bambi to come in with the pin on Zany. The problem now is Grab Dragon is online. And they have no defensive support ultimate. They have immortality field and Chuckster's defensive. That's all it's gonna like really save They're them. They're hard relying on Chuckster to eat this combo. Unless Glob Dragon gets another big Oh, but that tire, it eliminates the immortality field. And here it comes, the grab dragon coming through the Glob Dragon actually kills everything before the dragon gets there. They're just gonna get the Diva Diva out of it and the cart turned in because of it. Woo! Minute all 32 considered. left on the clock. Now, I was gonna say a minute and a half on the clock, not bad at all. Kitty, I think that was like a hard bait shatter. I think Bambi wanted them to think he had given up, and when they least expected it, just BAM! <laughs> Yes, that was a huge Bionade. It was like a four-man Bionade set, mm -hmm. but alas, too little, too late. Oh, two. Ready for battle. We are seeing that Hogs are your defense. Oh, buddy. You know, Psycho might be a man after my own heart. Defensive <laughs> Reinhardt. Defensive Reinhardt is so... You have to play with so much restraint compared to offensive Reinhardt, especially on this map. I am well aware. <laughs> <laughs> and Hog, you can do literally whatever you want and get away with it, so... <laughs> yeah, I I finally started warming back up in the Roadhog after not playing him for realsies for about a year and a half, uh, just like this week. He's really been coming back to me and... The amount of freedom that hero provides you compared to a shield tank right now is just insane. Peep this far up there? Um, no it could work out. Yeah, I was just say Korean. Oh, but or you could just be Psychomantis and pull them out of the sky. He did get hooked one point three. Oh, that was a close hook as well. I saw that from the third person and Glob Dragon with the huge double mod. Absolutely. Glob Dragon is really showing up tonight so far. Yeah, Glob Dragon has looked exceptional on this uh, JSOI. And Korean as well. Absolutely. The DPS from Pizza Planet are just looking super hot fire. Agreed. Nice uh, hook block there from the baby. Kirby does need a direct rocket, but there's nothing to follow up on it. Positioning is in place now. Um, I'm gonna say this fight's gonna start kind of for real here momentarily. 
needs to start soon. Bambi's running out of shield resources. He's not gonna be able to stand there forever, but Psycho Man's just on a flank! Finding Steph! Ready finding Korean. Riptire coming out from Glob Dragon. What's it gonna get? It finds two! The Barrage coming in from Lee Rowdy, only finding Kirby though. And a res coming through for Pizza Plan. It's gonna equalize those numbers a little bit. Pop Tart is caught behind the team line. Psycho is gonna. Okay. Oh, Steph do make fails. Pop Tart out, but unfortunately loses their life in the process. And Pop Tart just used res on Bambi, so it's not available. We do see Lee Ratty swapping to this Junkrat. Um, Chucks are getting pulled in. Be able to get out with their life attack. Bambi forfeits half of their health bar, but Honey gets finding an early, finding two early picks here. Huge, actually. Both Korean and Psycho Mantis, and now Diving Team is just going to take their numbers advantage and run with it. Honey Biscuits heard us uh, giving the big ups to Pizza Planet at DPS. Really? really no. to, to remind us who, who the uh, the Ash Pro is. This entire game is really spending so all year. two teams trading back and forth with telling us that we're wrong in our opinions. You know, I'm okay with that. Me I'm too. I'm allowed to be wrong. <laughs> I get paid to talk. You know, I don't get paid at all, really. <laughs> <laughs> we get to talk and enjoy Overwatch, and whatever happens, you know, there's a reason why we're not the ones playing. Absolutely. <laughs> Pizza Planet able to I find Bambi a... there. Kind of forces him. Diving Phoenix all the way back up to the cart, even then some, having to give up a lot more just waiting PG on their main tank. is looking at, you know, 5 and 30%, or 5 and, Diamond well, Phoenix has heck, Honey Biscuit six builds 50% ult. Honey Biscuits build 60% ult, and before I can, like, put stammering over my words to build the full 6. I want to highlight that hook from Psycho Mantis. Normally you would laugh at a Roadhog hooking a bomb, but actually Psycho Mantis pulled it to the side of the building so that it couldn't see anybody. That was amazing. Tire coming through That's from that. Lee Ratty, though. That's the El Clasico, like, hog knowledge. And Psycho's still in the back. Um, Unfortunately for Diving Phoenix, that. they used five ultimates to get around those two corners. I think Psycho's going down. J yes, just a little is. bit. They only sent two-thirds of the team up there after <laughs> Unfortunately, one of the problems is with that flanking hog is even more so when that hog goes down compared to like a Reinhardt, your yeah. frontline contesting, like, you have no point sustain without Reinhardt. <laughs> they're ready in a little bit of trouble here. No... They're gonna 1v1 with Glob Go Dragon. I think this is able to pick them up. Or, sorry, Glob Dragon picks up uh, Ratty. Psycho Me just trying to spit this game. out, Pizza Planet wins the fight. <laughs> yes. Psycho exerting his main tank dominance on Bambi with the uh, the Enviro kill. <laughs> Pizza Planet kind of looking really good right now. If they can stagger these ult usages out just right. Tire coming in. Immortality field. Actually, doesn't even get the immortality field. Bambi does a great job locking that all together. However, Grab Dragon's coming through. What's it gonna find? Whoa. It gets two already, the support line is gone! And the D-Mech and Chuckster! You know, I wanna walk that one back for a second. Is that the first grab that Zany Boy has used on the defense? Uh, I haven't seen another one? Uh, yeah, I don't think he's used either, another one. Either exactly. Zany hasn't used grab yet, or Chuckster got an eat that we didn't notice. I hope it's the former, because I would hate to miss an eat. Korean just popping already, killing Honey Biscuits in the free fight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a pretty good way to either slow down and like immensely, or just shut down a push. This demon on the chuck with her is gonna sting to lose that ultimate there. And the window well, coming through with a whole hog being gone. pushed through it. Pizza Planet just does not want Diving Phoenix to even have a chance in this fight, but Diving Phoenix does does not care at all. Lee Ratty said we are taking this fight. 
The window being invested from Diving Phoenix, however, a beat to counter it. Ziptail's on the cart, just trying to contest it. So we a really good job making sure it's not getting progress while this fight, while Pizza Planet regroups. Dragon's coming in here. It just splits the team in half. It's not going to find any kills, but the split is huge. However, Bob getting invested from Honey Miss gets he able to push the team away. Grab coming through, but the dragons were already used. There's no big combo for it anymore. And now Pizza Planet are in a dangerous position. Bambi going to execute. Glob Dragon's gone now, and now they're going to gang up on Psycho Mantis in this room. This, I think the card's just going to get turned in. No, they managed to touch it the very last second. Shatter coming through from Bambi. Huge Shatter able to knock down only or two, I think, people left on the cart. Ziptail and, oh, a great charge on the Zanny Boy from Bambi. And the card's going to find its last meter just as Glob Dragon tries to recontest the cart. Ooh, okay. Well, that was a little... Initiating match. Mm-hmm. Zany used his grav. Correct. In a very desperate situation and got nothing for it. Mm-hmm. Based on what we saw there, I think he could have held on to it and used it for the recontest with Glob Dragon there. That really probably would have been the the winning play. I I mean hindsight's winning, twenty twenty. Yeah, hindsight's when you, 2020. when you don't know how badly your team's gonna get like team wiped there, like I mean you're in the moment. Zanny doesn't know that their team's gonna stagger. I, I mean you could turn around like you don't know what Diving Phoenix has for ultimates. All it takes is for a tire from Lee Ratty to come around and get three members of your team. You're already down one, so it's it's almost a team wipe. You're just trying to get the most stall you can and make sure that you're either shutting down a push or slowing it down as much as possible. So I don't I don't fault Zanny for for using the grab, but yes, I do believe that the the ideal play, knowing how it panned out, would have been to hold it and uh, save it for the block got back. Psycho on the defensive Rhine this time? Interesting little audible. Very, actually, because I thought Pizza Planet had a really strong defense with the Hog. Uh, Diving Phoenix are playing really, really aggro here. Immortality Field already forced out from Kirby. The DPS really putting a lot of pressure back on point and preventing that tick take. Um, and already burning 45 seconds off the clock. Only 30 seconds remaining. Uh, seconds remaining. For DP. And in all likelihood, we're gonna see potentially both supportals come out on the side of mm -hmm. the defense here. As well as DPS ultimates in all likelihood, based on how they've been playing. Bob Dragon just poking out of this hotel here, trying to find a pick is on the way in. Korean though, gonna shut down Steph, that's big! The window coming through from Kirby, this could be game-changing here. Diving Phoenix might not even get a chance to touch as much as they want to because of it. Lee Ratty though with the pick on the Korean, gonna alter the numbers, now it's just trades back and forth. Bambi with the shatter on the Zanny Boy, the pick does come through from Chuckster, however, Glob Dragon coming out of the hotel and deleting Bambi from the game. Lee Ratty though isn't done yet, takes their counter. Psycho Man is charging up on the point with a huge shatter of their own! Somehow not finding Ratty, and they're gonna use the tire! What's it gonna find and get Ziptail? And Diving Phoenix in the final moment of this attack are gonna find the capture. Bambi has actually swapped over to the Wrecking Ball, which I'm interested to see how Bambi's gonna play on this Wrecking Ball, because not or are they just gonna go back to spawn? They are, they're gonna go right surely back to spawn and get yeah. back on the Rhine. They surely he's swapping. Um. Now he oh. really broke that fight open um, with the nano ride and just the mad aggression. Honeybits is contesting club. That's a huge pick. The spawn advantage favors Diving Phoenix uh, heavily right now. Bambi pushing up, taking a lot of space. A little bit behind in the shatter. Uh, Brace just the. Due to having picked the uh, wrecking ball for stall, but the dragon coming through on the bookstore. Actually, that's all huge. Blocked. Psycho Mantis managing to save that immortality field while they were all purple. Bambi gonna go in for the Hail Mary charge. Not gonna find anything. They get grabbed on point. Somebody just a a barely touching. Diamond Phoenix have a chance to turn this fight around. Is the tiger gonna find anything? Glob Dragon uses it. 
only finding Bambi. Pop Tart and Lee Ratty are still alive on the point. It looks like Chuckster just got back, as well as Honey Biscuits. Nana Boost being invested in the Holy Chuckster. Are they going to be able to find any picks with it? They do. They delete Danny Boy, forcing Korean off the high ground. A really good anti. Blob Dragon inside of this little uh, building here, the cafe. Ivy Phoenix have to be careful. I was just about to say that card is moving away from them. This is going to be a difficult recontest at this point. They do have the, the dragon and probably the shatter coming in along with maybe Kirby. Psycho oh, looking for a charge, I would assume here. Coming in, just going to try and build. He builds the shatter. Bambi's turned around and charging. They're going to get a shatter dragon off here. However, a really good, I believe, immortality. Something kept them alive right there. <laughs> Di or Pizza Planet though, I do believe the damage has been done. Unless Lee Ratty gets a big tire, that might be the equalizer they need if Lee Ratty can stay alive. Bob is out now! Can Lee Ratty stay alive on cart long enough for Bob to do his work? It's just Lee Ratty and Psychomantis! Whoever wins this duel might just decide if they get B or not. Lee Ratty does survive long enough, and now they have to wait on the rest of Diving Phoenix to get there. The Junkrat duel comes out, but Bambi makes it back just in time. It looks like Pizza Planet, Zanny Boy is leaving this fight a little bit here. Glob Dragon's in a, in a lot of trouble here. And Chucks are able to punish. Diving Phoenix are getting so much cart progress right now. A lot more than they probably dreamed of getting when they had about 10 seconds left on attack on A. However, Korean want to be with a nice early pick on the Lee Ratty. A lot of damage gone for Diving Phoenix. It beats the plan to have a chance. It's right now. It's like Omance is going to a huge shatter to open this fight up for them. But Bambi gets up with a shatter of their own. Immortality field is huge. Bob Dragon using the Rift Tire. What's it going to find? It gets Chuckster before they get, get a chance to remech. The grab finally comes through, and they finally clear Diving Phoenix off of the card. Oh, baby, that was a hell of an overtime. Five, Absolutely. Three, sides. So I... I have two comments from kind of that little, little round. The first is... The DP DPS were really were, were wanting some of that praise we were handing. <laughs> they played so well. Absolutely. The second thing, I, I think that Pizza Planet had a very clear win condition that they could have used, which was grab a dragon. Mm -hmm. And they made the individually, I'm going to guess Korean and Zany, both made the... the the mistake of having a little more confidence that they could clean it up with just their ultimate, you know, heck, yeah. three or four times, like back and forth. We saw mm -hmm. Grav come out. 15 seconds later, we see dragons come out, you know. 20 seconds later, Grav, well, not 20 seconds later, but, you know, Grav mm -hmm. comes back online, just back and forth, all the way. And if they had, at any point in time, used both together, they probably could have shut her down right there. Um, hopefully they can keep a little more tight control on their plan here on their offense. They have a couple of bolts here that can clear the point if they get into this overtime push between the Blossom and the, uh, Super Tire. Uh, Lee Ratty, though, finding pick up a Kirby, that's gonna shut down this team's aggression if they're not gonna have the speed boost. A huge Dynamite coming in from Honey. However, Korean wanna be shutting down Bambi. Can, honestly, I think that Diving Phoenix are going to need at least one more pick here to truly shut down Pizza Planet's push, but it's not coming through. Pizza Planet are going to overpower this team while they don't have a shield. Lee Ratty's in the back line, though, doing so much work. They're between Honey Biscuits and Lee Ratty. Psycho Mantis leaves this fight. A nice sleep on the Zanny. They're just not even going to wake them up. Bambi's return to the fight. However, um... A little ways the off the shatter. I think they're gonna have their Oh! The nano boost gets invested into the Reinhardt. I'm not sure about this, but they obviously have a lot of faith in Bambi to get in here and kind of turn this for them. Bob is on point now, so is Honey Biscuits, but immediately Honey Biscuits is gone. Bob is actually not okay, now Bob is contesting. I I think that DP was trying the strategy that they've used all night, which is if they have won a lot of fights just giving Bambi Nano. Yeah. Um, and letting him play super aggro. And I think that was the idea there, but it was a little too far gone. Still. 
I, I think the reason that's worked the rest of the night, though, is because Bambi had a lot more of their team backing them uh, in most of those yeah. fights. This time, there wasn't really anybody behind Bambi to tell Pizza Planet that they weren't allowed to just run Bambi over. And Korean taking the fight in the alley. Oh, Bambi got lifted there. However, both shatters blocked. Tire coming through from Pizza Planet. What's it gonna find? Nothing yet? Or at all? Just to take the huge bomb! However, the Blossom comes back in retaliation and finds Korean gets four! Make it five. Oh Psycho my made goodness. a major Psycho made a major misplay. He overblocked that bomb like egregiously. Um, he walked right past it. It was not even close to behind his shield. That was ludicrous. Um, and probably should have cost them, but not for Koreans. Huge. Lee Raddy's gonna go ahead and use his tire from behind. I don't think they know where it's at. They find Kirby. Kirby did However, have ult there. Zip Tail's gonna use Coalescence here, finds Honey Biscuits. That's, uh, that dynamite not being there is gonna hurt Diving Phoenix. The Nano coming through on the Bambi. Can he get anything done with it this time? They're swinging for all that Nano is worth. The Shadow comes through. Not actually knocking anything down though. People are on top of the cart and the cart partially blocked it. Diving Phoenix are getting the picks here. Pizza Planet are scrambling on top of this cart, just trying to evade damage. Zany able to hop around the cart and get a pick on their own on the step. And the beat coming through from Kirby. Are they going to be able to touch? They don't. Kirby gets knocked too far off the point. And Diving Phoenix able to barely hold on before the cart gets turned into B. And take map two, making the score one to one. That was a heck of a map. I don't Absolutely. know if you are Pizza Planet, how you just hard ignore Lee Ratty though. Okay, I understand <laughs> it's overtime, but you have to dedicate some resources to not making him not just farm your backline. <laughs> Especially when you have Kirby on the way back. And, and Kirby dying there is also a travesty. Died to the Junkrat tire, mind you. Mm -hmm. um, if he had dropped Beat right there, suddenly Bambi's Nano doesn't seem so terrifying when everybody yeah. has an extra 400 H or 700 HP momentarily. But honestly, it was it was the Junkrat that really, I think, killed that. Especially, you're holding that left side of cart on the defense where it's so tight where Bambi was. You can't miss if you're a junk rat shooting in there. <laughs> like there is no there's no space. Okay, we have the good round. We're going to Hanamura. Very pretty map. I I do like the cherry blossoms. Uh uh never mind. Psycho baited us. <laughs> Bambi wants defense regardless. Okay. They're not making me swap sides, and I actually love all of them for it. Bambi does confirm defense regardless. Let's see, do we have any swaps? We see Hawk coming back in for Chuckster on the side of DP. Uh, that's it that's from it. them. That suggests... Heck, I don't know what that suggests. Uh, John Hawk plays a lot of everything, stuck. so you could see, like, like, honestly, you could bring in John Hawk just because you want a different type of diva. You you could bring in John Hawk because you want to run Wrecking Ball. You could bring in John Hawk because you plan to run uh, double Psycho shield. has double-baited this, and we are going to Hanamura after all. Oh my goodness, Psycho. We are still having a uh, DP defend. Mm-hmm. Uh, did Pizza Planet give us a roster yet? No, they did not. Okay. <laughs> Let's pick up a cloister real quick in the Pokecord channel of the Discord. <laughs> Exclamation point Discord if you want to join. To come join the league, um, you'll be asked to read through our policies it's you know kind of like terms and conditions and rules and stuff like that there will be a secret key phrase of agree in there find it drop it in the the correct channel and welcome 
Ah, yes. Thank you, Seth, for dropping the Discord link. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, honestly. I've been playing it for the last two and a half seasons, and it's really breathed a, a new life into the game for me. I don't know if I'd still be playing Overwatch at least anywhere near as much as I play it now if it weren't for this uh, the Oasis server. Absolutely. Um, when I originally got brought into the, the league as a coach, I was almost not playing at all anymore at that point. Um, mm -hmm. I, w I was doing, you know, the occasional Friday night sesh with the homies. Mm -hmm. But not, you know, I, I didn't grind rank. I didn't play every day. I, it was just sort of a the competitive nature of Overwatch is just so nice. Mm -hmm. um, the game thrives in that environment, and I would encourage anyone who hasn't had the opportunity to play in at least a semi-competitive environment. You know, I'm not going to claim yeah. that every match that we host in the league is the most competitive one, mm -hmm. but we try and make it that way. Um, we've got different tiers depending on your SR. You know, heck, what was tier three was 15 teams or something? Like we had, we actually have quite a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of teams, um, uh, quite a few teams in Tier 2 as well. I think it was only, what, around four or so teams less? Yeah, it looks like about 10 Tier 2 teams and about 14, 15 Tier 3 teams. And mm -hmm. accepting applications for new teams. Like, if you and the homies, if you got a six stack, the, the, the Platinum Crusaders, you know, bring them in. We'll put you in Tier 3, we'll put you up against... Uh, these teams would be your competition. If you if you think these guys, if you think you're better than them, come join Tier 3. Prove it. I'm sure they'll be happy to have more competition. So we have the swaps from Pizza Planet now. Uh, they're going to sub out... Uh, oh, wow, I already forgot. Okay, they subbed out Glob for <laughs> Ragnarok. Um, and then Ziptail for Fizzy. And uh, Yandro's coming in for... Oh my god, Kirby. Bambi has given us readies. Definitely uh, getting quite the series out of these two teams. It is just hero play after hero play after hero play. Almost every player in like, each category, each team has, has had a big play that's made a fight either winnable or just won. Indeed. And you know what? Let's see some more because we're ready for Hanamura. Absolutely. Now, immediately my thoughts are Hanamura doesn't behoove either the Rhine particularly much. Mm -hmm. Maybe on first point, but I don't usually think of second point as a super Rhine-happy map. Mm -hmm. Although the way that teams seemed absolutely determined to take that top right high ground and fight hard in those hallways, the Reinhardt has a certain appeal there, I suppose. But I have theory, noticed you have some of the meta, out. though. People have been using that top right hallway a lot less now and have been opting for, like, more main strats, it seems that. like, or finding different ways to come in, like, whether it be a teleporter or running a, a mobile team that can go over on left. Um, even, honestly, I've seen some teams still going top right, but not at that all opting to take that higher uh, route option and just going out through main and dropping down on the point. Um, so, I did mention that bringing in John Hawk, I, I didn't think we'd see it, but I bring in John Hawk, who could be planning to run double shield, and it looks like that's what Diving Phoenix plans to do here. Um, His I, Sigma do be crispy. Yeah, John Hawk is definitely one of the better Sigmas in, in Tier 3, in my opinion, so. Uh, I think if you're uh, easily have... top 3. Yeah, easily. So, we're seeing a double dive look on the side of the. Pizza plan and offense. This is gonna be a really awkward die. for uh, Diving Phoenix to defend against with the comp they're running. 
You know, I don't hate it. Just giving it a quick once over. Uh, like, they, they have successfully taken position here. Mm -hmm. Fishy going down early, but. John Hawk, though, coming up with two kills. Looks like methodically they, they retreated to the point and it seems like they must have really had a system plan for just in case something like this happened where um, they would they would kind of be able to huddle together and, and play this composition a little bit like a brawl on point. With the with honey biscuits and the junk crap on the ash and the junk crap respectively. I no, really yeah. like to see the diva come out on the side of Pizza Planet here. There's just a lot of eating opportunities. We do see the car on the high ground, pouring damage in. Full far is that the banana? Uh, Zanny here, just on point, kind of poking. Psycho Mantis is gonna swap to that diva you were talking about. Uh, that's a big pick on the Steph. If it, uh, it cannot be Res because uh, Ana doesn't do that. <laughs> oh, Dangerous um, has the Res cancel with the with the bio name. Yeah, um, that actually would have provided a pretty strong opportunity, I think, for them to get back in there. It would have. I do still think though that uh, like look at respawns right now. There are two players in Diving Phoenix that just aren't in the fight right now. They'll be back soon. He's a planet. Good. Capitalize on this. Okay. Here they come. They're gonna try and pick on the respawns as they come in. They find Steph. He's gonna have to use an immortality field. However, Bambi 180s and shatters, punishing the punish. And Lee Ratty gonna go ahead and pop tire here, just try and put a period on that team fight. Yeah, that was a bit of a disastrous um, attack, honestly, coming out of Pizza Planet. I felt like they were. A little unprepared. They were trying to take those respawners, but they forgot that they were diving I'm... still into the very defensible area. It's not like they were cutting them off in spawn. It was. I'm happy to see them get off of the dive a little bit because it seemed like they they had the aggression in mind, but not the target focus. So I think getting off that comp and trying something else here will be beneficial for them. I just hope it wasn't too little, too late for the team as. Ults are actually gonna swing this, I think, Diving Phoenix's way. Well, the Korean comes in with the, uh, the Tracer hasn't swapped off because they had the Pulse Bomb, finding a pick on the Pop Tart. Indeed, Korean continuing to look And able to find a pick on the Honey Biscuit, that is two coming out from Korean. It allows Pizza Planet to come in onto the point and infiltrate what Diving Phoenix had just about 20 seconds ago made look completely safe. Never doubt that Korean diff. Korean on the tracer is like, mm -hmm. it's just real scary. Uh, Korean is like one of the very, very, very few people that I, I know in this tier that I would say, it doesn't matter if tracer doesn't fit into your composition. If you put Korean on tracer and let Korean do Korean things, Korean will absolutely create an opening for your team almost every team fight. Especially when you're not running like really hard counters to the, the tracer. Oh, Alex went up there. A really good trap too. <laughs> they tried to aggress the high ground, but Diving Phoenix were so ready for it. Good news, uh, if you're DP. Well, I guess it's not that great. Your ult quality in general is probably going to be higher with the exception of the tank ult. Mm -hmm. um, I like your DPS ults better. You did have to use the tire there. Now the bad news, you're gonna have to weather these tank ults with basically just immortality heals. Pizza uh, Planet is gonna be able to build almost every single one of, if not every single one of those. Shatter coming Good through. Shatter from Psycho. Does not. Yeah, does not, but doesn't find a kill. John Hop does accidentally kill themselves there in hyperspheres. Korean doing Korean things, finding to come to the daddy, but Bob is now on point. That's gonna. And Bob in and of itself is a tank. He's gonna create some space just by being lethal there. Fishy has had a lot of really unfortunate deaths. Just in general, but on this map, 
he killed the junk rat and then immediately walked into the total mayhem on first point. Right there, he walked in front of Bob and died to not even the you know the turret form of Bob, just the the bouncer you know face check you Bob. Yeah. Um, those are both really unfortunate if you're a Moira fade. Uh, fortunately, Diving Phoenix don't win that fight too expensively. They swap Lee Ratty over to the Torbjorn, but other than that, not a whole lot lost. Grab coming through from Danny. However, the counter shatter from Bambi is going to negate any aggression coming from Psychomantis into it. And the picks are coming through for Diving Phoenix because of it. Bambi wants more. Bambi wants to finish off both of these players that are out here. Finds the pick on the Andros. Can they get the pick on the Psychomantis? Will they go for it even? It doesn't look like it. Bambi has, this whole playoff series, he has come alive. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose in some ways you're probably the thanks for that, your avidy. Um, yeah, oopsie. After beating them in the last match of the, the regular season in a bit of an upset, you know, maybe. He has won blood in every opponent that he has taken, and he is getting it thus far. <laughs> A bit of a whiff from Hawk on the ult there. Uh, that also got shut down. Oh, Bambi turned around for just a second and Psychomantis took the opportunity to knock him on the ground. They get a really nice D-Mech there on the Zanny. I don't think anybody can test. No, there's no way. He, he kills Zanny before they ever touch. Full hold on B. If you're diving Phoenix, this you're pretty helpful right now. I I think they made a pretty significant unforced error, just allowing that opposing high ground to be completely free. Mm -hmm. um, I won't pretend to know how to counter it, <laughs> or you know, well, you know, I can come yeah. up with a thousand reasons, Diva. Run your own hit scan. Send a Genji up there. Like, what the correct answer is, I won't claim to know. But Honey Biscuits uncontested. Like, there's not even poke damage. <laughs> you can launch it. Then they are literally. You know, the term shooting gallery gets overused, especially on Second Point Hanamura, where it's usually the attacking team standing on the high ground uh, bridge, just firing at spawners. Mm-hmm. But like that was literally just a, a complete shooting defense. gallery for Honey Biscuit. There was, <laughs> it was. There was nothing. Um, and that's just not a great place to be, especially after the performance we've seen come out of them this evening. Mm -hmm. uh, Diving Phoenix so, seemed a lot more in control of that map than I, I would argue either of these teams have looked in control of a map thus far. Five. I, I would tend to agree. Uh, I'll be interested to see what they can put together with this sim comp that we're presumably going to see hard to tell a point. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Rowdy, the younger like, can really hit the, uh, the May, it'll be really good May. Oh, and an early pick already from Honey Biscuits before the TP even goes through, but Psychomantis is just going to shut down some pretty key players of Diving Phoenix before the fight even actually breaks out. A uh, Honey Biscuits, though, has found three members of Pizza Planet. I think if you just get out here and take the respawn advantage, and there's the fourth. Honey Biscuits on May. Absolutely going crazy. Psychomantis finds to pick on the Honey Biscuits, but I think it is far too little, far too late. Oh, uh, Psycho took his own bait. Walking for the minor health pack that just guaranteeing Bambi the unmissable pin as he starts to pop mm -hmm. the heal. Beats of Planet are coming back to contest this. They don't really have a choice. They either contest this or they have to, to unfortunately take a draw at best. They need to win this map. They have to take this fight. The Honey Biscuits denying them the chance to come back on the point. However, Hanzo doesn't care. Hanzo climbs up walls onto the point just to die moments later. But I love the tenacity. The question, frozen Ooh. biscuits, Australian pork. <laughs> I'm kind of liking the frozen biscuits myself. Mm -hmm. They use a TP. Oh, lights right there. 
Korean, able to Korean send fighting dragon his contractual dragon kills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, just popping off in general, finding three in this team fight already. Well, that was a good stabilization. Mm -hmm. um, but the question is, are we in for the five minute full hold on second point? Potentially. The ult economy on the side of DP is a little scurry. Blizzard's a fight winner. Shatter's a fight winner. John Hawk's ult's a fight winner. You know, there's a lot of options here. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a little bit of like, oh, Alex with a huge tire. Okay. Though. That is the kind of fight win that you're gonna need if you mm -hmm. want to hold this for five minutes. One ult, one team fight win. Agreed. The question will become, what happens when they use so, ults? So, Lee Raddy's still just vibing here. And you know, if it never they still The stealth metra, you know, it's yeah. a thing. <laughs> Stumbles across an Ana. <laughs> Korean gonna take that fight. Korean wins <laughs> that fight. Unfortunately, a little bit expensive of a defense um, for Pizza Planet. Using both support ults as well as. The hoggle. Bambi with the shatter and though, and the grab to come in just to confirm the kill. Or sorry, no, that was from Pizza Planet as a counter. Oh, if Bambi gets that, he does. That is absolutely massive here for this team. Oh, Psycho Man just gets frozen on point. Pizza Planet are gonna get lifted here. They get lifted underneath that little, that little awning though, allowing them to stay on in touch. However, Diving Phoenix, the picks are coming through! Unfortunately, the ball just rolls off for a second, and Diving Phoenix are gonna take map three, setting the series 2 1, favoring Diving Phoenix. Play of the game. <laughs> well, that went about what I expected on second point. Mm -hmm. I am always interested to see this. See how I pick up the May? Woo! The timing on that May kill is just Chef's kiss. So <laughs> nice. Well, well, I'm already dreading the MVP conversation. It's not even here yet. I've got some ideas. I, I do got too, some ideas. <laughs> so many players are just doing incredible amounts of work for their team. Absolutely. Ow, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> What kind of swapperinos is we gonna see? Honey's May OP says Bambi. I don't disagree. I don't, I, disagree. I don't disagree at all. I absolutely love to see Honey Biscuits pop off on the May there on A. That will quite possibly be my personal highlight of the night. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to be going to Rialto for map 4. I do like Rialto. Um, my first thought with Rialto is Psycho back on the hog, going fishing. Or, I guess going anti-fishing, because what he catches, he's throwing back in, not pulling out. <laughs> Ghosty trying to buy themselves some playing time. Hey, you know, uh, I'd be happy to see Ghosty play. I, I would absolutely be happy to see Ghosty play. 72-36, a nice round number. An offer mm -hmm. perhaps Bambi can't refuse. We'll just have to see. 
give us ghosty. Do it. Do it, Bambi. I, I'm not a kitty. I'm just going to say I tend to agree with you. That's my only comment. <laughs> okay so psycho and fishy so Z out, zany out fishy in korean wannabe staying in thank goodness if you're a pizza planet fan because <laughs> the boy been on fire spooky meme back in for ragnarok alex Zip tail in for it wasn't zany boy. Uh, it's probably fishy actually. So fishy just staying in, moving to a new different role. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Yandros staying in. And we see Hawk staying in. We be coming in for Lee Ratty? Yes. Oh, baby. Let's go. Uh, first, we need We be in the server. <laughs> yeah, in the server. Psycho says he's ready when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, do we gotta kick somebody so she can get in? Um, no, there's still a spec slot no? open. Are you ready from diving Phoenix? We have I didn't... ready. We got ready. We have Psycho Phoenix. ready. We have Bambi ready. Let's go. Welcome to Rialto. Good old Rialto. Initiating. I, I both like, love playing on this map, and I also can't stand playing on this map at the same time. It really just depends on the meta. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bills. How are you? We are glad to have you here, Bills. Oh, boy. Ready for battle. So, we're seeing Ryan Hogg, oh. potentially. Stay on the Bastion, Korean. I dare you. I'm told that if you dare Korean, he'll do it. <laughs> Just what I've heard. Attackers incoming in we are doing wonderfully tonight, Bills. Glad to have you, my friend. Paris oh, is the forbidden so we... fruit, Snun. So the double hit scan defense? Interesting, interesting. Suspecting the Farah or just playing the ranged game. 
I don't know. I'm a little... I worry a little bit about Diving Phoenix's Five, composition in terms four, of three, just, two, like, one. what they'll do if Pizza Planet just pushes straight into them. Stop However, the Pizza Planet not running anything to bulk damage of their own, uh, actually Ghosty on a really good hero. Oh, John Hogg with a really early pick on the Psycho! Just immediately asserting the Hog dominance here. You know? Somebody needed to put Psycho in his place. <laughs> and we see Korean swapping to the Hanzo. Uh, I like that pick, especially against the snipers. I'm mm -hmm. a little surprised we don't see the Kudo swap, but I don't know what his Widow looks like. And his, like, let's be honest, the Hanzo has been excellent all year. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily like Spooky on the Reaper, maybe with a flank deck. Second like something <laughs> happen there. Threading the needle, finding that hook. John Hawk, it's a, uh, it's nap time. And Diptail resing Psycho Mantis to swing the favor of the fight and defeat the planet. Really up, oh, the res from Pop Tart though could be huge. Steph forces Spooky back. It's not every day you see the Baptiste win the 1v1 with the Reaper. Not However, and, uh, Korean on the right actually was really uh, being a nuisance to the back line of Diving Phoenix. However, they were able to smoke him out a minute for just a minute there. Bambi is really far forward. Getting... Yeah, I think Bambi is getting a little too much respect. Huge from the shatter, there. actually! That is a five man shatter! Bambi going into execute on it, but only, he only one to go in. Blocks the counter shatter for the most part. It does get through on the right side of the shield just a little bit. Well, I, good think, news. And Bambi's already 56% of the way to the next shadow. Positive for Pizza Planet, the PPP, you know, mm -hmm. is you have Korean on your team, and that, that'll win you some fights right there. You know, Second, your old combo. That is a huge hook, shutting down Psycho Mantis' whole hog. But Korean just on cue with you, what you had to say, finding a double kill to open this fight right up for them. It's Spooky, the natural counter to the Roadhog, finding the kill. Gonna force Diving Phoenix back, quite possibly, put them in a really awkward uh, overtime touch. Spooky is terrifying with this ult. If he gets on top and, like, they're trying to fight in a super contained space, oh my oh, god. They need touch. Touch. Just, oh no! The pin comes through Ooh. on the John Hawk and the only person touching is off the point. The Reaper in the back line, though, mm -hmm. but not gonna do anything. Chicken out. I, I, <laughs> I want to see Diving Phoenix hold this for a while right here, just because I have I've not seen a team successfully pull off this hold. I think ever. With, with the way Honey Biscuits is playing, um, there's every chance that it, they can hold right here up until Korean, you know, finds another ult. <laughs> yeah. They do need to be careful of Spooky, looking for the teleport, going across the way, but Honey Biscuits sniffs them out immediately, already putting them down to 1 HP. Oh no, Bambi. Oh, Bambi, no. And now Spooky drops down, finally. Gonna use the, uh, Honey Healers when you got Death Blossom, am I right? Honey really getting trapped in that room with a bunch of people who aren't happy to, to see them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's a few uh, head wounds that are happy to see Honey Biscuits alone. Up close and personal. Mm -hmm. We do see Honey Biscuits swap off the Widow on the Ash. Um, a very reasonable swap. Hawk going on the big Good flank. Sleep. Oh no! Poor Ghosty. Korean finding ult kills. Life's what not else quite over yet. Steph getting that pick on the Fiji. And then a res on the Bambi. It's, it's back and forth though. And now Bambi's back down immediately after the Nano comes through on the Psycho Mantis. Psycho is a one man army now. Now that the Nano has worn off. Like, after what took a little bit to break that, uh, that bridge hole, really steamrolled the rest of this point. Mm -hmm. um, which is a bit of a shame. I think part of the advantage of taking that bridge hold is you expect to get at least one more 
real fight. That was a crazy really hook from fight. Psycho Mantis. That, I think that that hook on, from Psycho Mantis actually pretty well sums up why Diving Phoenix aren't getting more fights than they would probably like to get. They're taking their fights a little too quickly. Or they're not pulling back far enough. Because they could have definitely had some... two fights on this objective by now, but because they didn't regroup the very first time, it's, it's just been a stagger fight. And they need to touch now! All or nothing here but Spooky! <laughs> now Bob's doing something! Honey Biscuit, so just the numbers after Spooky's ult heavily favored Pizza Planet. Wow, that was what a quick take on Rialto. There are two and a half minutes left, which is not a common amount of time to see left in a Rialto push. So one thing I do want to to run back. Um, and I suspect it's a combination of the hog and the Hanzo that's forcing this. But Steph has had some pretty questionable immortality fields in spots. Mm -hmm. um, where they're being put forward where you might like to fight, but you can't fight because there's a hog there. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, throwing a, the immortality field down as you're getting Hanzo ulted, which is fine if you're in a spot where you're not also having to retreat and run away mm -hmm. from your immortality field because there is a nano hog coming around the corner. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> to blow you up. Oh, boo. Pretty much no changes. Um, spooky meme on the torb now interesting interesting and weedy on the echo and steps back to the lucy which i think has been more promising psycho mm -hmm. goes for the chibi hook is she gonna try and hold this uh, forward aggressively here it's gonna work out just because the dps of pizza planet are really popping off right now which honestly has been the story for Pizza Planet, I think, so far tonight, just like as a whole. I think Hawk walked forward and jumped off the bridge just to give Psycho, like, you tried with your hook, bud. I'm gonna make <laughs> it look like you got me. Um. <laughs> Scoreline is 2-1 to Diving Phoenix. Matthew. Oh no, Bambi! Bambi! Getting pulled, even slanted from the hook off of the uh, cart. Just a janky hook. We're setting the needle on that one. However, you got John Hawk on the stick line, you still have a shield. The count train lessons here, they're gonna commit to fighting this, it looks like. Really nice hook from Psycho Mantis pulling John Hawk in. However, the E comes through and John Hawk gets the healing. They need to stay alive. Bambi and uh, yeah, Bambi uh, Anti here gets the Nano too to stack with it. Psycho Mantis whole hogging behind the team finds John Hawk, but the picks are currently just favoring Diving Phoenix by a lot between Honey Biscuit and Ghost Team. That was a pretty unfortunate, like, chain of events um, from Pizza Planet. From the, Diving I Phoenix assume, the Nano the going on the wrong target. Like, there's just a lot that went wrong there. Uh, but they are getting the recontest. Biggie almost has Shatter on mine, but I guess uh, so does Diving Phoenix. Go see taking the Reinhardt, but Korean! Another dragon! They don't even need the grabs anymore that they were using on King's Row. But again, could we see a hero play from the DPS? Korean able to shut down Ghosty. Honey Biscuits gets pulled in, so it doesn't look like we'll see it unless Pop Tart is gonna go absolutely crazy on the sauna, but it does not look like we're gonna get to see such a thing happen. Pop Tart does make the uh, the the Ana Warlord exit, taking down a turret and one fellow member. <laughs> but alas, it ain't enough. 
it might still be helpful though going into this next fight. Well, they do. Never mind. They go taxi the Torbjorn back, so they will have a full six stack for Pizza Planet. Stonehawk lifting three members of Pizza Planet up, killing Korean. That might just be your win condition right there with the way Korean's been playing tonight. And Honey Biscuits fighting Spooky, but they don't realize. Okay, finally, Steph has called out Psycho Mantis is on the back of the cart. Ziptail has also done the same flank to join Psycho Mantis. However, I don't think they're going to stand much chance. The healing's been cut off. Psycho Mantis anti uses the breather just for the damage reduction. Now they've got to kill Lucio. Thanks to the uh, stickies from Ghosty, they're going to knock him down to really low health and make it really easy to finish off. I, I do think we are seeing a little bit of a breakdown in the hog dynamic. That was that was a solo Q hog play. <laughs> oh, the old Bambi in danger. Well, it went from Bambi in danger to Bambi anger. Anger danger. Oh, well, Bambi not fishy anger. <laughs> Take down Bambi. Oh. There was a nice sleep that went through there, but unfortunately, Fishy got woken up. Psycho Mantis almost gets out with their life. Ghosty's gonna take Roadhog, almost gets moved off the map! Steph barely managing to stay on the map with that! I cannot believe Steph is still alive right now! That was some impressive air strafes. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily understand how, but... I'm pretty sure that Lucio's entire light up to their knee is currently just soaked from Rialto <laughs> River water. <laughs> Honestly, uh, <laughs> kind of going back to what we were saying before, they are rolling the second point. Mm -hmm. um, with perhaps even more vigor than Pizza Planet did. If there was ever the opportunity to the stabilization, it's right now. Fizzy's just taking a nap in their own lava. Fine. Trades back and forth for each team. Fiji's won. Wow, and just half of Diving Phoenix go out of the fight simultaneously. Korean, gonna go on ahead and do a quick little emotes on cart. You know, he's earned it. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Dr drop the, the team kill bell has gone off. Claim your prize. And with that, with that stabilization, this is now arguably the hardest point in the entire game to take yeah. when held properly. Like, these stairs are just gross. Shatter coming in from Bambi though, finding three! And the lift from John Hawk, finding four! Can he kill Fiji? It looks like Diving Phoenix are gonna be able to break this fight open enough to take the point. Killing four before losing a single member of their own. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know about that, but then I realized it was Ghosty on Echo. I think Ghosty has had some interesting uh, targets for the duplicate over the last <laughs> couple of games. I'm going to assume that was one of them. Well, but um, if not, you know, hey, yeah. you, built, you built the sound barrier. That's Pog. <laughs> So, Are we getting aggro here? Psycho Mantis is going to say no. No more aggro. You guys get away from the cart. However, Diving Phoenix almost told Psycho Mantis to go back to spawn room. Korean with another huge dragon with the assist of Fishy's Shatter. So many ults were invested though there. We saw the Shatter, the Whole Hog, the Dragons, the Nano, and it looks like either Ziptail just swapped to the Lucio or I missed the beat go through. I believe he, they did drop the beat. So I was about to talk about how they're already behind in time and they're down in ult economy. But after that fight, the ult economy is looking a little more favorable. Yeah. Um, for Diving Phoenix, and the opportunity might present itself here. Korean's kind of far forward here. Diving Phoenix kind of missed an out. Well, never mind, did not miss the opportunity to take Korean out while they worked a little too far forward. Up, missing opportunities to take Korean out is missing opportunities to win fights. <laughs> uh, Psycho Mantis just vibing on the Mega. Now, 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 Psycho Mantis is just gonna say hi, Honey Biscuits, and there, there it happens, as I call it. <laughs> oh no. Good anti on the Fiji though. If they can aggress with it, Psycho Mantis still in this backline here. The shatter comes through from Bambi. Can it find anything? They do get Korean again, again. That might just be a win condition. Fiji charging, not gonna find anything off of the short charge. 
Psycho, or sorry, Psycho Mantis with the whole hog trying to push people off guard, but John Hawk finds two with the Gravitic Force. Ghosty is now in with the Zoom Fist, trying to find quick picks. Doesn't quite build the ult, it looks like. Spooky's still trying to find a pickup with their own actual Zoom Fist, and just barely in the nick of time, gonna find the map completion with three and a half seconds left on the clock, now bumped up to a minute. Score. The problem is that gives Pizza Planet three and a half to, um, yeah. on this offense, and that's a terrifying proposition. Initiating match. Whew. Well, The time bank <laughs> just screams Pizza Planet taking After this. After King's Row, I don't, I, I'm not, I, I don't know if time bank means a whole lot in these payloads and halves. Well, that, that's what I was going to say. It's like, <laughs> but, but we've seen overtime DP come to play on a payload map very recently. And <laughs> yeah. It didn't go that great for Pizza Planet. Oh, we do have a DC from mm -hmm. Hawk. Thankfully, during pre-round, so no ult charge lost or anything. Absolutely. That can be killer, too, sometimes. So, defensively, Korean on the legs? The, the horizontal legs, in fact. Yeah. Interesting. I'm... A if so my concern here is the amount of sniper play that's been coming out of specifically honey biscuits um but also on the other side uh the aerial play um from weeby on the echo not running i mean hanzo's not that great against the echo i suppose either so maybe this is a middle ground between running a sniper to county counter honey biscuits and a you know a full hit scan to counter echo mm -hmm. um, and then you leave spoopy to face check tanks I'm not sure um, it's a tough call to make I, I will say, just as a, a sort of a general aside, I haven't been in love with the support compositions that have come out of Pizza Planet on this map. They've played a lot of, like, Anna Moira. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not, a, that's not a composition I have a lot of love for. I don't mind the Anna Mercy, especially um, right now. And especially if you're expecting the Hog, because Anna can eat it alive. Um, can you invite John Hawk? I do not believe John Hawk has this account added. Either that or John Hawk is not online. Or not showing online. No, John Hawk does not have this account added. Well, his team will take care of him. John Hawk starts spectating. Okay. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 be ready we're almost at the end of our three minute timer there we go both ready and psycho ready let go back to Rialto mm -hmm. quick little breather for both teams they they, they both know that <laughs> this could go to another full completion based off of the way King's Row went
Um, so we do see the horizontal legs. We are sticking with that. Oh yeah, we are on defense. Dip, dip. A little bit of a non-traditional attack with the May Junkrat? I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. He said well, but Yandro said a very no. early pick on Honey Biscuits. However, the, I was going to say, the more damage coming in, Ghosty finding two members of Pizza Planet. A res does come through on the Yandros as Psycho Mantis finishes off Ghosty. Pop Tart gets pulled in, but the hits a nice anti on the Psycho Mantis. They're trying to follow up on it, but the damage just isn't there. They don't have Ghosty and like that the May isn't going to deal as much damage for you. Plus I do believe that uh, the May just returned. Yeah, there is a the damage to play. That was so decisive that there wasn't really much opportunity for ults to be built on the side of Pizza Planet. Mm -hmm. so Bambi uh, that early to fish pin you. from Fizzy might actually be fight deciding. <laughs> Riptire coming through, can it be big? Oh, Korea shuts it down! That tire could have been the entire, like, point and maybe most of B had they gone through. Honey Biscuits trying everything they can to stall for time. The entirety of Pizza Planet is amped up and ready to take them on as soon as they come out, though. And uh, it does not look like we'll be seeing an insane overtime push from Diving Phoenix. And that's a uh, three and a half minutes. That's you're only five or sorry um 35 seconds less than the starting time bank for an actual defense uh for rialto so you have the full hold on almost an entire like actual time bank i'm a little worried that diving phoenix's hubris got a little ahead of them there like we've seen bambi playing super aggro all night Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to figure out how he ended up in Mega Room, where he could get pinned by uh, Fishy, like before the fight really started. Um, yeah, I'm sure there. You maybe a little aggressive. Um, even you know that aside, Korean like the king of clutch this evening. Good. Um, mm -hmm. Found Pop Tart as they were being hooked by Psycho. Found the tire. Found, you know, two more picks in that fight. Found the, like, good lord. There, there are two definitive tire kills that Korean has gotten tonight that absolutely, like, if left unchecked, could have resulted in a 3 to a 5k. Just clean Pizza Planet out. Are we actually gonna see Korean Bastion? I think we are! <laughs> Pizza Planet ain't messing around. They want this map Come completion. Man, and a hack on the Bambi! There's no shield to negate the Bastion damage at the moment. If even a single pick comes through right now, that could be just lethal for Diving Phoenix. Oh, the Bambi gets slipped! Able to be woken up in the immortality field thrown onto them. A freeze on the Korean from Honey Biscuits is huge. However, Yendris able to find Ghosty again. The range pressure is now gone from Diving Phoenix. Korean rezzed up, getting a pick on the Bambi, and now Psycho Mantis hooking Honey Biscuits after hacking. Just leading them. Diving Phoenix has got to get out of here. Either that or the whatever member may be left behind needs to die on cart. Which uh, seemed to be Steph, unfortunately, didn't we, seem to make it there. We see Weeby swap to their own Bastion. That is interesting. I'm going to assume Weeby wants to set up. No, they're just going to set up on the bridge, I take it. Bambi's. Oh, the Maywall, though, actually might have hurt a little bit there because they couldn't do the spam damage of the Bastion. The res coming through from Ziptail, the Bastion's back in play. Fishy gets the pin on the Bambi, but their Nano, huge shatter coming through! Going to shut down a lot of Korean damage with the MP coming through! Steph getting pushed off the cart! Pizza Planet are gonna turn in on Rialto, and we are going to go to a map 5. I mean, does it shock you that much? We're in Italy, what's more Italian than some cheese? You gotta love it. A little Pecorino Romano. Some Parmigiano Coreano. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought that that might be where the play of the game took place at, but I, I admit I would have thought it would have been spooky memes. Mm -hmm. But holy crap, that was 
23 objective kills? What an absolute unit! <laughs> yeah. I do believe this to be our first map 5 of the playoffs. Is this... This isn't the first... Not in playoffs this... history, just this season. Yeah, no, 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 I was trying to think. I was trying to think if any of the other playoffs maps or matches had even dropped a map to the losing team yet. Um, yes. Uh, Valhalla versus Nova was 3-1. Right, right, right. That was 3-1. I was like, I can't think. So we're expecting Bambi to pick the map. Mm -hmm. We're going to Li Jang, which means we don't have to swap because it's control. <laughs> Excellent. Have we managed to get through this entire evening without having to swap the teams yes. once? Thank goodness. Full you said Li Jang, correct? Yes, LJP. Okay. I will be back in the quickest of moments. Right on. All right, chat. Let's talk. Last map, we've seen pretty much everything I think these teams have to offer. What is your pick okay, going into Li Jiang Tower? Welcome back. I was just asking chat what their pick for map five is. Uh, pick for as in team. Or... Yeah, who do you think? We've, we've kind of hmm. seen both teams lay it all on the table now. I I mean... Pizza Planet had a really convincing uh, round three of Nepal. Um, I, I would say that if you're, if you're basing it off of just like control the series, Pizza Planet seemed a little bit stronger on... I mean, obviously they took the map, but... Um, in the in the rounds that they won too, they looked a little bit stronger than Diving Phoenix did, even in their winning round. You know that might be true. Hmm. Both teams should run Sombra, says Seth. Um. You. I don't hate that idea, Seth. I think Sombra into the hog is pretty good. Um, we need a Lee Ratty in the server. We will have a Chuckster coming in for John Hawk and Doc coming in for Step. And then a uh, Lee oh. Ratty will be coming in for Blank Space. <laughs> what was formerly known as Honey Biscuits. This is an interesting, um, a little bit of an interesting mix-up. We haven't seen Lee Ratty Weeby. Mm -mm. And this is—is is this the first map we haven't seen Honey Biscuits play, or did they did they drop map one? Uh, I do believe Honey Biscuits was in on map one. Um, I do know that uh, Ghosty can take up the ash that. Um, Honey Biscuits would normally fill the role for uh, Diving Phoenix, so Li Jiang Tower not usually being a map that really lends itself to the Ash too much, outside of maybe uh, I would say Gardens. True. 
Yeah, you could run it on Night Market for sure. Mm hmm. Somber's just too good. Propaganda is useless. I want to hear it. Propaganda? Ah, I see. It's actually Apagandos los Luces, which means shutting out the lights. <laughs> Hablo solo un poco espanol, pero no mucho. Uh, <laughs> Psycho chooses to play FedEx on Legion Tower. <laughs> um. That was a very quick uh, bio break from Psycho. All right, we got readies from both sides, so let's uh, let's decide this. Let's go see what's going on in China. Now arriving at Yijiang Tower. If Zany leaves lobby, he can watch stream. He can't, right? Uh, I am unsure about that. I believe you should. I'm be pretty able sure to... I've always been told just to play it safe. And if you were in at all during the series, just to stay away from the stream till afterwards. Um, I have not brushed up on that rule in a good long while, just because it's generally what I do. Though, to be fair, I usually don't get maps off or told I'm not playing for the rest of the set. I usually play all five maps in a series. That is true. That is very Ready? true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a little surprised we're not gonna see Korean on the tracer, but we're seeing him on Edgy Tracer. So it kind of makes sense. The telly is gonna give them a big advantage as they move on to the point. Mm -hmm. And Weeby is also gonna play Tracer, which is gonna mm -hmm. leave them with a lot to uh, live up to after seeing Korean's tracer play out. I look forward to seeing them try. They're gonna have a hard time cracking this point open with all these turrets on it. However, Bambi just gonna go on ahead and throw a fire strike in and delete the uh, Moira. Psychomant is gone too. This is gonna be trade central here because of the amount of damage, but Pizza Planet gonna come out on top despite initially looking to be down in this fight. The Symmetra, the turrets just weren't dealt with and just kept, like, continued to do damage over and over and over. The that is something play is like, it's a little bit of a Sophie's choice. Like, if both teams do it, it's not great for either team. But if only one team does it, the point yeah. presence that you command instantly is Bye, so Bambi. huge. Hi, Bambi. Bye, Bambi. <laughs> like a deer back in the head. <laughs> Ghosty going for the bridge flank again, gonna try and get the pick on to uh, Yandros early. A Bambi again! Pulled off the map! This is absolutely oh. killer for Diving Phoenix! This is two pushes that are just dead for them! Bambi is like... Ugh, I can't imagine... Oh, if I'm we, Bambi, I'm the... really, I'm really irritated right now, both with myself and Psycho. Oh, Psycho! Oh my goodness, Psycho! They have families! Psycho, I know, is really looking for Ilios to play Hog on, but he's finding yeah. all the environmental kills he could possibly want here tonight. Wow. And that was only that was Diving Phoenix's second attempt. They've only got one more yet? try at this. They have, I don't believe, used an ultimate in this match. No, they haven't. So far. Um, and Ghosty, oh, yes. Ghosty might have tossed Balls Bomb, and I could have missed it. I know that they had it. Though. Dunster, though, early pick on the zip tail. Bambi gets the nano, but gets shattered. Gonna get charged off the point. Vision's all out here alone! Piece of planet! 
these turrets bane but ghosty able to knock them all out there's one swift rocket diving phoenix in the final hour coming through to maybe retake this point if spooky doesn't or sorry this is korean this time on the reaper pull something crazy off the death blossom not finding anything korean survived for a long time in that one before <laughs> I, that was one of those, okay, the, the Blossom doesn't get anything, so he's gonna die quickly, and then he didn't die quickly, mm -hmm. and then he didn't die slowly, <laughs> and then he just didn't die forever, and I was like, every second he doesn't die is more likely that they're gonna get back, especially with the Telly, mm -hmm. the Telly is in play. Korean just Oh no, Vivian, this is the shatter there to the pin from Fiji! The wall coming through with the Symmetros, this is looking really strong for Pizza Planet to get the retake immediately! They're pushing out Pop-Tart, Lee, Ratty, and Grill are the only things for uh, Diving Phoenix still remaining. Looks like Grill might just be setting up to retouch or recontest, but... Ghosty makes it on the point, gets immediately flash things and punched though. Psychomantis pushing Bambi all the way off the, the fist. Chuckster able to come back with the nano, but gets shattered. Fishy's gonna take him for a ride off point. All the way off the map, but the boosters come through. Can they touch? This, if this doesn't work out, Fishy feels terrible. Ghosty so close to a barrage, if they can build it. They do, but they get shut down too quickly for it to really get anything. And that will be round one going to Pizza Planet. Oh, I was really concerned for Fiji. I've been in that position before, and it is terrifying. <laughs> oh, that was dominant. It um, absolutely I, was. The, the, the upside for DP that I will offer is that it was dominant for maybe not a great reason. No. Or not a repeatable reason. It was dominant in no small part because Psycho just kept landing the hard blue hooks. Yeah, there are not environmental. The well, there are, and just, but what? not in an important If you get a hook stretch. here, you're not carrying. You're probably like on some cheesy flank. If you you're on cheesy flank, and whoever you hooked is also. Not exactly. On a cheesy right. flank. Yeah. Or not <laughs> but, well, we talk about cheesy flanks, and here Pizza Planet is, set up on Balcony. They, I mean, I mean technically they have high ground. That's, high ground. That is an advantage. They're going to give that up a little bit here, though. Bambi Shields broken. A huge anti-nade coming in from Pop-Tart. Diving Phoenix trying to aggress onto it, but it kind of split here. It doesn't look like there's any major target focus coming in from the team. Just some individual, like, just pop off. And are able to weather the storm from high ground. That was a little bit more like the Diving Phoenix that we've seen playing with just strong fundamentals. Uh, mm hmm. You know, not, not getting cheesed by environmental cells. <laughs> yeah. Weathering the storm. Okay, uh, the Honey Biscuits, or not Honey Biscuits, sorry, that's Weeby. I, I just, so used to seeing uh, Honey Biscuits play these heroes so far. Um, but Ghosty was on a really long flank right now. Maybe gets pulled in. Vigi on a really long flank of their own, gonna get the shatter here. Are they gonna actually use it? It doesn't look like it. Fiji's actually in a really dangerous spot there. Anti Lee Ratty finding the final blow onto them. And a fight that kind of looked like it should have gone to Pizza Planet. It's now swinging back in the favor of Diving Phoenix. Korean's weak here. Gonna pick up this mini though and get themselves top back off. Lee Ratty finding a pick on the zip tail. This is still kind of an undecided fight, honestly. If Pizza Planet comes back and they rally together, they can push back in onto this point. But it looks like they're gonna con or, uh opt for a full regroup now spooky i see you up there lee ratty oh lee ratty found you you've at the very least been called out now if you pop a tire from up there they know good beat from grill and the emp coming through the shutter to follow up with it high noon not gonna find anything bambi does a good job blocking it however the high noon's gonna negate any follow-up onto the shatter rip tire coming through what's it gonna find it's going after the main tank, but it finds Korean! 
Dr. Grill is just such trying to walk right back and forth. For it is, time. but Pizza Planet does find the, the cap in the middle of it, which is huge for them. So you chuck his move to staggering, the point to staggering himself. He does get sent back to the spawner. Had Pizza Planet not capped there, I estimate that they would have capped while Diving Phoenix had about 97% on the board to themselves. Pizza Planet effectively put themselves in a contestable position if they lose this point. It's not necessarily one fight character. The beat comes through from Ziptail. Actually uses every bit of it for Ziptail's health bar. I'm going to force him back, Peter but the shatter goes through, Fishy. Oh, the heck! Gonna negate the charge, but Pop Tart falls, and so does Bambi. This whole hog from Psycho Man is doing a really good job of just dealing a lot of poke damage. And Diving Phoenix are forced out. This is effectively one clean fight there. You can get a secondary fight in if something like this happens. That's your, that is your not clean fight. Now you have to wait to get your actual one fight in. This is now, with overtime spawns, they're gonna, are gonna kick in. Um, certainly one fight, you know, at best. Maybe a halfsy fight if somebody fast dies. Oh, but Lee Ratty already falls. falls. Bambi throws the shatter. Vigi never dropped the shield and really give an opening. Um, Here comes the high noon. Depending on the results of this high noon. And Grill gets a really good beat off though that's not gonna let them Oh, here comes the blizzard, it's gonna prevent the contest! Diving Phoenix are in trouble! Grill's here, we've seen Grill get some crazy overtime contest. Well, oh it's the siren! Oh the fire tire fights too with the help of the EMP! Diving Phoenix turned this fight around and what was almost certainly done! It was Oh my goodness! That's insane. Okay, problems. Old economy in shambles. Mm -hmm. Bigger problems. Beat, shatter, probably yeah. Hoggle coming through in this next fight. And that's it. If they can weather this storm, they're going to take this. This. this point, looking for shatter. Certain. Bambi have to swap the ball. There's nothing negating the shatter, but it only finds Lee Ratty and the pin goes on the Bambi while they had field up. They just need to be able to survive long enough. Fiji's weak. Chuckster actually builds a bomb here. That forces Diving Phoenix, or sorry, Pizza Planet off the point. This is still really back and forth. Honestly, Diving Phoenix might build the ult they need to really hold on to this. The hack going through the Psycho Mantis. The Psycho Mantis gets shredded, but Fiji finds a pick on the Holy Chuckster before they can remake. The Cold Lessons coming through. The Here's the Dead Eye. There's no shield. Korean finds two. Bambi's alone here. Bambi's gonna try to spin the wind, but Korean gets the pick off of them. Pizza Planet retakes. Nobody's able to touch him. Pizza Planet will take the series. Holy crap, that was a great match. Absolutely. Play of the game. And in true deserved fashion. Yes. Oh, just one, two, three, four. <laughs> An excellent game from from both teams. Like, yes. Oh, that was a lot of fun. That was a long one too. We've been at this for two hours now. <laughs> we have. I, I, I legitimately did not realize we had been going this long. Me neither. Uh, this was supposed to be a quick game. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we were talking about trying to make this as quick as possible. You know, hit every transition between. Okay, let's talk MVPs. And okay. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. <laughs> Which one? Korean, right? Like yeah, Korean we're, we're both BPM. totally in on Korean. There's no okay. way. <laughs> we'll slide okay. back to the right. <laughs> Though I do, I don't want to just say, yeah, Korean. There was like Lee Reddy had some crazy tires. Same for Glob no. Dragon. Like the junk rats tonight were just 
killing it. Honey Biscuits had plenty of plays just to shut down Glob Dragon, just to shut down Korean. Like, Honey Biscuits certainly was not quiet tonight. And Ghosty came in in the last two maps. And, I mean, the dupes, you were saying, were questionable, but I think that, like, Ghosty did a pretty good job creating space with the duplicates that they were taking. And honestly, I think Ghosty did a pretty good job filling in what I would assume was supposed to be Honey Biscuit's role, considering they played Honey Biscuit's hero pool on Li Zhang Tower. So I think every single DPS tonight really showed up to play and uh, did a great job, like just showing that they they were MVP contenders. But I do think that Korean was a clear standout, just consistently, almost every team fight making the the space on their own, killing the targets they needed to kill. Korean is definitely my MVP for DPS. I, I agree. Um, there is there are chats saying, and I quote, nope, it's Korean. End of story. But you're you're 100% right. The, the it, Glob Dragon looked nuts. Like, mm -hmm. all of everybody looked good on DPS tonight. This mm -hmm. was one of those, if Korean hadn't had a legendary performance. Yeah. Like, almost any other DPS would have had a strong argument, because they mm -hmm. all played super well. Um, okay. Throw that one to the side. Yep. Uh, so, support tank, I have kind of a split opinion. Um, I think you could go Bambi or Pop-Tart for DP. Um. And I'm offering up options on either side. I'm I basing agree this off of with Pop Tart, actually. With um, Pop Tart, okay. I was thinking of Psycho Mantis for the tank MVP, um, and yeah, then no, to yeah. give Pop Tart the support. And, yes, I was offering them as since one of them is going to DP, and it was mostly because Bambi and Pop Tart were two sides of this. Fight altering, you know, <laughs> Nano yes. Reinhardt build build Nano every seventeen seconds, and you know, let Bambi win a team fight. Like, so it could, you know, either half of that combination, I think, gets deserves some, some praise, but you can only give it to one. So that's that's why I was proposing it in that fashion. Yeah. No, I I agree. I I I I, I was thinking. Uh, pop tart over uh bambi specifically like the nanos did enable bambi a lot um bambi got a lot of assistance from pop tart and pop tart was landing all of the crazy <laughs> anti grenades and sleeps all night consistently so I, I i had been pretty sold on pop tart no um the Th that was so basically what I just described was my hypothetical okay DP, DP wins situation, which would mm. have been like Bambi Pop Tart Korean. Yeah. Now on the side of Pizza Planet, I was thinking probably Psycho. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we were very much aligned in our thoughts. Yes. Um, he put on, you know, there was there, we we made jokes about absurding hog dominance in either direction. <laughs> Ultimately, especially that last map, I, I think so. <laughs> yes. Psycho as the, the hog of the server. Yeah. Um, just looks so good. Um, but, I mean, we can talk about, you know, some of the other tanks um, as well. Like, Chuckster mm -hmm. looked really good. Chuckster um, had some really nice bombs. Yep. Hawk, you know, pretty much always looks good. Although mm -hmm. I would say a little quieter tonight than I they had a stunning performance on Rialto when it mattered most. The fluxes were pretty big and honestly super fight altering. Both A and B were pretty much taken solely off of John Hawk killing things and severely weakening things with flux. That's true. Rialto was was huge. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't disagree. Um, Fiji uh, did a great job dueling with Bambi all night. I do think Bambi might have won out a little bit in the Reinhardt duel. Um, I I am <laughs> I am sorry about lighting that fire after Bambi. <laughs> um, hey, everybody needs their you know everybody needs their Gary Oak. 
Yeah. And it just so happened that you were Bambi's, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe you were his ass Ketchum. I don't know. Either way, classic references. Um, well, and again, I, I, I kind of want to, you know, this was an incredible game all around. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think, you know, I can't think of many times where my analysis was negative. Um, no. You know, I talked a little bit about Steph's immortality fields, but like, mm -hmm. you know, two or three bad immortality fields on a map does not does not a bad series. No, game. not at all. Uh, like, just the overall quality of play tonight was, was uh, dare I say this was the best match of T3 playoffs so far? Yes, I think so. I would say so. I, I would absolutely get behind this being the best match thus far. Okay, well, I All right. think that wraps I it think... up. Uh, thank you Indeed. all for coming out to watch this uh, incredible semifinals uh, series, which will we will see Pizza Planet advancing to the finals now uh, in a 3-2 victory over Diving Phoenix. Uh, I have been joined by Crypto, and I have Petty Remedy. Thank you again for coming out tonight. Have a good night. Absolutely. Good evening, everybody.